Joining us in the studio is the Director General of the International Institute of Professional Security, Tony Ofoyeton. Uh, good morning. It's good to have you good on morning, the show this morning. morning. Nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I wonder much. how troubling this whole just, uh, jungle justice is uh, to you. Nigeria is actually tagged as one of the worst countries where jungle justice uh, goes on. It's not troubling to me as a person. Really? Yes. Wh why? why not? Um, because I see it as a failed policing system. Um, when the security system has you know, failed the people, when the people no longer have confidence and trust in the justice system set up by the government, uh, when the instrumentality of legality has failed the people, uh, the people will tend to look for alternative. And the alternative is what you tag jungle justice. And uh, believe it or not, jungle justice comes when over time, People had um, been victim of um, a particular crime in a particular locality over time. It doesn't happen suddenly. And that is one thing you must notice about jungle justice. It doesn't happen suddenly. It's not the type of um, justice that you say that um, the first victim became a victim of um, the first um, suspect, rather, mm. became a victim of jungle justice. It doesn't work like that in jungle justice. In most cases, the first, the second, maybe the third, or perpetually would have been apprehended, taken to the police, the law enforcement agents, and nothing was heard about the person or the suspect they handed over to the police. And it's either that the people that even handed over them to the police mm. is now being harassed, or they are being frustrated. Now they go with that bitterness and that anger and that pain. Now when a time will now come, the next thing you see is that they are not taking that suspect to the police again. Then they will administer their justice there and then. Now why conceding to the fact that there had been some collateral damages mm. in terms of the fact that there are pockets of innocent people that have been, you know, victim of this unfortunate situation. But I bet you that majority of the people were people that were caught in the act. Are you there with mm -hmm. me? There are people that were caught in the act, you know, or do you have circumstantial evidence to show that, they, that take for example but the But does Bado it really case. justify it doesn't. jungle justice? Now that is where, you see, we're not talking about rhetorics here. The police and security agency need to sit down. What is your response time? Mm. That is one thing. What is your response time when it comes to crime and criminality within a particular geopolitical zone? Now, apart from your response time, what is your justice mechanism to the people to pacify them and assure them that anybody that is handed over to you, you will make justice? Then what is the speed of justice execution? Now, these are major issues. Yeah. Now, the Bado thing you talk about, for example, mm -hmm. how many of these suspects have been arraigned before any court? Since the issue of Bado started in Lagos State, many people have died. Many families have been wiped away by this, you know, gang called Bado. Unfortunately, as, I'm, as far as I'm aware, I'm not aware of any prosecution or anybody that has been convicted. Mm. Now, look at it. Families go to bed with either two eyes open or one yeah. of the eyes, you know. At the end of the day, the little ones they are able to apprehend and hand over to the police. They seem to hear little or nothing about it. Or one big man somewhere has come to either behind them to free, the free them. Suspect. So you yeah. now discover that they know that if these people are handed over to the police or law enforcement agent, one big man somewhere that has sent them to go and kill and go and look for blood, either for money, either for politics or for religious purposes, now they know that these people are going to free them. What do you think they will do? Hmm. All right, but in this, in this case where jungle justice seemed to be increasing, where parts of Lagos, not even just Lagos, parts of the country. We've mm -hmm. heard, we've had in Benin, we've had in River State and all of that. Does, it, does the mob action they carry out, called ju jungle justice, does it really serve as deterrent? Is it really reducing the kind of frustration in the minds of people, actually? Now, one thing you must understand about jungle justice, I'm not a pro-jungle justice person, mm -hmm. I, but I am also a very realistic person when it comes to the issue of the melting of jungle justice. I give example, a particular locality in Lagos, there was incessant armed robbery 
unending armed robbery, as in unending, almost every blessed day. Now the armed robbers, the, the king in that village didn't do anything much until the robbers came to his palace and raped his wife. I'm talking of Lagos State. I don't want to mention the name of the locality. Mm. When the robbers raped the wife, two days later, the OPC came all out in the community. And they went to the houses of each of these boys, one by each, brought them out, executed them in front of their houses. Meaning they knew who they were. That is one thing. Right. Mm. One by each. And listen, for more than 15 years now, there have not been case of one armed robbery in that community. In this Lagos State, so you think that in itself is some no, kind of deterrent. But you, it, you've mentioned institutional, I, I just gave, you institutional, know, example. institutional failure. But when you remember um, the Alu 4, for example, the Apple 6 and all the rest of them, th there's a principle in law that says it is better for a guilty person to go to free, free than for an innocent, innocent person, person for, exactly. to, to be punished for you know, a, a crime they did not commit. I, I agree with that. And that is actually a treason in legal maxim, mm -hmm. 100%. And in most cases, what we say is that it is better to apprehend the person and follow it up in the police station and make sure that it is better for the community to organize and even carry a placard to say we brought X and Z uh, suspect to this station. What is happening two months after, three months after, rather than execute such jungle justice. But the only people that can prevent jungle justice are law enforcement agents, not the people. No matter what you preach or do. See, it is, it is easier for us to sit down and analyze in TV station here. But if you stay in a street where criminals don't allow you to sleep and you have apprehended one, two, and you did not get any positive result, rather the crime continue to increase. But what the does next that, thing you think of is it how do? to protect yourself. Yes, Tony, uh, Tony Ofoyeto, what does it do to our psyche as a people? If we have to come down to the level of the people we say are perpetrators of violence, of crime, and the rest of our society who should know better, actually, you know, brought to that level, what then happens to everyone? Aren't we all then brutal? Is the Hobbes theory of... Uh, you know, short life, brutish, and all of that. Is that a reality? A state of nature. It's, you know, state of nature. Is that it, it, what we should it's, allow? It's, it's rather unfortunate that um, the type of country we are now, we seem to lionize violence. Now, what I mean is this. If I carry a placard and I say, federal government, give me milk, I'm hungry. Now, the federal government would either not listen to me or will ask the police to tear gas me. But look at it. If I carry AK-47 and I shoot into the air, they will call me for negotiation. Then the issue is not the people. The issue is the institute, the type of society we are. It is the government that will now have to sit down, do a reorientation, and they also have to be faithful to the people. The people, as far as I'm concerned, they are, you know, Nigerians are law-abiding people if they have the type of government that they think they want. You know, these are the type of people that, if you remember 83, 84, will line up in bus stop. The mm -hmm. same Nigerians will line up in bus stop queue because you have a government that they believed was disciplined enough and was also showing example. Mm. You know, but look at what is happening today. You are talking of a situation where you cannot go to anywhere to seek justice. Then what happened? So to me, I, I'm not going to really push it back to the people. I think I want to see some level of faithfulness, truthfulness on, on the part of those that are at the helm of affairs. Mm -hmm. I bet you that you don't need to push Nigeria to be faithful. All right. Now, mm -hmm. what, what impact does the issue of enlightenment or literacy, illiteracy have mm -hmm. to do with this? Because the, one way or the other. Anyone who is really enlightened and really educated, no matter how frustrated you are, or provoked. you still believe yeah. in a system. Even if you are frustrated, you still believe in a system. Yes, I agree with you to that extent. Yes, of course. There are some of us that uh, no matter what we think of, we, cannot, we can't even phantom the idea of killing a human being. Mm. I mean, that is the most barbaric thing any human being can think of because mm. it's a stigma, even on you as a person, that you are part of the death of a human being. Mm. Just imagine you have altercation, natural altercation, and the next day you hear is that the person you quarreled with yesterday is dead. Mm -hmm. You were not the person responsible for the yeah, death of that how person. Sad would that but be? just the fact yeah. that you had altercation, you will almost not forgive yourself if you are the type of person that has conscience. 
you will almost like, why did I even call? Even if the person was the wrong person, you will almost not. So uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's not the best of idea. Whether you are literate or you are illiterate, think of being part of the death of a human being. It's even a cause on its own. Let's leave the issue of legality, security, and all those things like that. Being a cause to the death of another human being mm. is a cause on its own. And that is one thing we must quickly understand that, look, no matter what, it, the best thing is to hand over that person to the police. Whether they do the right thing or they don't do not. the right thing, let it be that of God as the ultimate justice. Now since, that is since we are very religious people, and yes, some people religious. have actually said yes, in spite... but that is at the ecclesiastic part of it. <laughs> you know, that. Indeed. <laughs> but, you know, some experts have said in spite of our religious, you know, posture and all of that, we still practice jungle justice. To what extent really is religion even affecting, uh, you know, our reaction to, to criminals and criminality on the streets of, of anywhere in Nigeria? There's a jungle justice bill that is before the Senate. Of course, uh, Saraki, the, the Senate President, Bukola Saraki, has said that uh, they will expedite action to ensure well, now, now that they... See, the jungle justice bill, Yes, the police will be the major victim of But Because when you talk about Why? jungle justice, you pass it to the people. But the police themselves, they are major number one perpetrators of jungle justice. Mm hmm can you explain that to us so we understand? Because uh, <laughs> no, because if that's you, an, an entirely new angle. To uh, exactly. Of course, if you look uh, at what, what we, the what we are talking know, about, what we, what we used yeah. to know is extrajudicial killings. What is a judicial killing? Okay. It's the mm, same thing as jungle same. justice. Right. Yeah. There are just mm -hmm. nomenclature differences. Extrajudicial killing and jungle justice. There are the, when it comes to people, you say jungle justice. When it comes to law enforcement against you, say extrajudicial killing. Mm. Extrajudicial because it did not go through the instrumentality of legal process. All right. That's all. It's mm -hmm. the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's just different parties being, you know. So when you talk of extrajudicial killing, you're also talking of jungle justice. And who are the number one perpetrators? You're talking of law enforcement agents, the police, mm. the army, the navy, and all those stuff like that. So if you are going to be looking at that, then it means that. The security agencies, in short, many of them will be in jail. Hmm. Hmm. If the police system is willing to jail those found to J be culpable. To, to jail its own. <laughs> All right, now the, the, the Commissioner of Police in Lagos State, uh, 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 Fatah Washeni, has said that about 33 people have been arrested mm -hmm. who so were far. involved. So how will this uh, impact on the fight against or preventing or curbing the issue of uh, jungle justice now? Uh, 33 suspected um, um, jungle justice perpetrators. perpetrators. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. Um, but to establish it is a very serious... It's, it's most likely not going to go through in law because uh, when you talk about so you must be able to establish that these people actually were part of it mm. there must be identification there must be evidence to show that because it's mob action and when you use the word mob action you cannot identify yeah. you just arrested people you must be able to show that it was this person that shot the gun or it was this person that used the axe or it was this person that used either seed or it was this person that poured the petrol. Now, these are things that the prosecutor must establish before the court to be able to get a conviction on the 30 people. Mm. And if you ask me, at the end of the day, it may just be exercised in futility or just play to the gallery. Yeah, but in these of days day, of social you know. media, where the tendency is to just quickly bring out your phone and begin to record. Well, as that, that's, as that's, 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 that's be, a good one. That Once they have such evidence... That's a good one How for them. wide should the, the uh, jungle justice bill go? I mean, those who stand by and watch, you know, uh, jungle justice being carried out, should they be culpable too in the court of law? Because when you chair on, I mean, you, you stand when you're you 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 a anything. participant you in the exactly. <laughs> yeah. partner accomplice. in crime. <laughs> well, but the issue is that I'm standing and watching you. Uh, it's whether I have the moral or legal obligation to stop you from killing somebody mm -hmm. when you are killing that person? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. I'm supposed to do that. You know. But the issue is this. Whether it is also safe for me as a person to do that as at that time, and I will not be the victim, now become the defense. Uh, I don't know if you understand mm, me yes. now. Mm. Now there's a mob action. Somebody is being beaten. Now, I now go there to say, don't beat this person or don't kill this person. That simply means that I am part of the gang. 
And the next blind. thing is that the mob will leave this victim, the suspect, and, and also face me. So both of us will not actually become the. And that is why you discover that many yeah. a times you will only watch. You may not be able to stop, except it's just one or two people that are still gathering. Then you can intervene. The only people that can do that type of thing successfully are the police because they are armed. But even the police fire, said in, you know, Abade, in the case the of Abade, air. they were badly injured. The police. The police were badly injured. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, in the last incident. So that's that, that's mm. that's just um, mm. the, the issue of jungle justice has its own high level of uh, complexity, it's especially really complex. when it concerns mob action. Mm. Mob action at that level, there's high level of irrationality. Yeah. It will even shock you that you will not even know how the petrol came. And the tires. Mm. You won't they just know how. You everywhere. won't even identify who brought them. Not even talk of the match because you wonder were they going out with matchbox in the first uh, in or lighters, of, uh, in anticipation. Mm. How come this petrol just suddenly came? You mm. won't know. Mm. All right, uh, Tony Ofoyeton. This is where we have to. Uh, leave you here for now, but we must thank you very much for coming. Thank on you program. very much. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Right.